Yo, what up guys, I'm Sammy and welcome back to the Sobelis channel. And this is my first impressions look on the Anta GH2. So this is Gordon Hayward's second signature shoe with Anta. And Anta is a Chinese company, but Anta has been killing it. You know, Anta and Li Ning make very, very good performance basketball shoes. They actually make very high quality products. Sometimes it's a little overpriced on Li Ning's part, but I feel like Anta keeps it pretty good as far as price goes and the quality, really high quality. So if you guys do want to cop, I'll leave a link in the description box. The shoe is going for only 110 bucks. That's basically budget price. It's a little bit more on the expensive side of things for budget, but it's still like pretty cheap for the tech that you're getting. We'll get on into all of that. Uh, but let's get it start off with the Tracciones, right? So the traction pattern is apparently inspired by a tiger paw. And I guess I kind of see it. I don't really know the anatomy of a tiger paw. Does It doesn't really resemble a tiger paw to me I guess uh, maybe here where the light green translucent rubber is kind of <laughs> right but anyways so the pattern is pretty interesting right and uh, I'm guessing this is dual density as well because if you feel the white part of the outsole it's pretty soft and I guess the grooves are a little bit thinner as well and then uh, where the high wear area is basically you know kind of like where the ball of your foot is and obviously just this translucent green part of the outsole. They're using what feels like a harder rubber. That'll obviously be good for durability. How is the bite? Uh, the bite doesn't seem that good. I mean, it seems pretty good, yeah, but like not top tier yet. You know, just trying it on my wood floors. It seems okay, but I, I guess durability does seem pretty good though. And of course, I'm gonna be playing outdoors in this shoe. And they're here right smack in the middle of the shoe. We got a midfoot chain plate and it's just made of plastic. It helps for torsional support and rigidity, which is good. And uh, it's actually pretty big. It also kind of cages the cushion here on the medial side. And as far as the heel to toe transition goes, it's very, very smooth. You know, you have a nice curved shape here in the heel and a lot and a lot of heel compression. Here in the forefoot, you have a nice curved shape and a lot and a lot of forefoot flex. So it just feels super smooth and very, very fluid. It doesn't feel clunky at all. And uh, I, I like how they didn't extend this midfoot chain plate all the way here into the forefoot, right? So it keeps the forefoot very, very flexible. I'm so, uh, moving on to the cushioning setup, right? So they're using what they're calling Alti Flash. So they introduced this cushioning setup in the Anta KT6, right? And they were hyping it up. They, they said it was a high rebound cushioning uh, system. And uh, I felt it in the KT6 and it's all right. You know, it has a lot of cage, so it's pretty hard to feel. But then here in the, in the GH2, I mean, it's crazy, right? So for the most part here in the heel, it's fully exposed. It's, it's just a little bit caged. Here in the back of the heel, as you guys can see, the outsole comes up. But other than that, I mean, it's fully, fully exposed and it's a thick slab of Alti Flash. And Alti Flash, like just even feeling it with your fingers, like if you press it with your fingers, there's so much compression, it's super soft and it feels awesome on foot. It feels really comfortable. It also feels like there's a little bit of bounce. It feels pretty similar to React. I would say React feels a little bit like bounce here like as far as the rebound goes it feels a little bit faster in react but ulti flash still does a really really good job on that and that's insane because anta like they're using their best cushion tech in this shoe and it's only 110 bucks that's that's pretty insane right and then here even in the forefoot it feels great and underfoot cushioning right so if you look at uh, the insole the insole is okay it feels like a regular polyurethane insole nothing special and then if you feel the actual uh, strobo board it's not that stiff but like when you look at it it reminds me of like the adidas strobo boards which is just rock solid rock hard but when you actually feel it and kind of like stick your finger into the strobe board, it, it, there's a little bit of give. So underfoot cushioning, you can definitely feel the Alti Flash as well. So I'm very, very excited to try it out. I feel like it's gonna be a really nice cushioning setup. And uh, as far as the materials go, uh, they're using a textile material pretty much, and it's super thin. It's also very supportive. There's really not a lot of stretch to the material and uh, it's, it's soft, it feels cozy and all that. And I also like the graphic on here. It's kind of like a snowflake, but also kind of like a basketball, you know? 
and also here on the cushion uh, there's there's some Christmas trees so obviously this is a Christmas colorway right um here go, coming into the tongue so it's weird it's a weird like system right so it's kind of like a one booty but not so this tongue is attached to this mesh material and it's pretty much like a regular tongue it, it is a half booty construction tongue though so it attaches to a material that goes underneath this textile and then over that there's like this kind of like a neoprene material that attaches to this blue part and uh, we have this pull tab here so it's a pretty weird construction and then here in the ankle area we have this like last eyelet so if you tighten this last eyelet you can feel this part kind of tighten on your ankle bone a little bit so that improves on lockdown as well so it's pretty nice it's kind of like a one booty but not you know and then uh, here in the back of the ankle, we have some nice Achilles pillows. It's not super thick, but you know, it definitely does help with lockdown and it feels pretty nice. But as far as like padding goes, there's not a whole lot of padding. There's actually no padding in this entire shoe, right? It's a super thin material and it uh, feels very minimal. And then here in the midfoot area, it says go hard with this strap. And uh, once you tighten the laces, it kind of tightens here in the midfoot a little bit. I wouldn't say it's as intuitive as it looks. And uh, if you look like underneath the strap, it says Gordon Hayward, but it's supposed to say go hard as well, which is kind of cool. And you can also see that it says go hard here in the tip of the toe on the outsole, which I think is a pretty cool touch as well. All right, moving on to the fit. I went true to size and it fits me pretty damn well. I would say there's just a tiny bit of length here, but I don't think that would warrant, you know, going down half a size. I would say true to size, you should be good. If I went down half a size, I feel like it would be a little too short for me. Here in the toe box, it's quite snug. It's not to the point where it's super snug like the KD-13 or the Kyrie 7, but overall, it's a snug fit. There's not a whole lot of dead space. And width-wise, I would say it's around normal width, so it fits me very, very well. And this shoe is super easy to put on. You know, uh, you have a pull tab here in the heel and then a pull tab here in the tongue, and you have a very, very large heel tab. So you just slide your foot in and also this, like, this material stretches out a little bit so that also helps uh, to put this shoe on so the fit and just the way the shoe feels right now feels really really good all right as far as the support and lockdown goes uh, for lateral containment as you guys can see we have this lateral cage right so we can see the anta logo here and it comes up here in the midfoot to act as a cage as a lateral counter and then uh, this is actually inspired by a tiger which I think is really really cool right so you have the teeth here and you have the big fang right here you know where the midfoot is so this actually looks really really cool I think it's a dope design and it's also functional you know it cages the cushion because ulti flash feels pretty soft and then uh, like I said here in the midfoot you have that lateral counter and uh, the cushion does come up a good amount here in the forefoot as well as here in the heel to act as a sidewall as well. And it seems to have an internal TPU heel counter. And as for lateral stability, as you guys can see, there is an outrigger here. So it's a very wide base. You're pretty low to the ground. So I feel like lateral stability is going to be good as well. All right, moving on to the weight. I feel like this shoe is going to be around average. It doesn't feel like super light to me because you know there is a lot of rubber here and there is this plastic midfoot chain plate so maybe like 12 13 ounces i would say yeah 12.84 ounces so that's just a tad bit uh, heavier than average for me the average weight of my shoes is around 12 and a half ounces does it feel heavy not really i would say it feels a little bottom heavy uh, just because of how minimal this upper feels i really really like how this upper feels on foot uh, but overall, like it, it doesn't feel like too heavy or too bulky or anything. I feel like it feels great right now. Uh, as far as the aesthetics go, uh, it's a great looking shoe. Like whoever designed this did a great job. This colorway is dope. And uh, I just love uh, the inspiration as well. You know, like the tiger paw and then the tiger teeth right here, right? Uh, so tell us what you guys think of the aesthetics down in the comment section below. So as far as my first impressions go, it's looking really, really nice. So the traction, I, I'm a little iffy on, but uh, I feel like it's gonna be pretty solid uh, and durable, which is a good thing. Uh, but the thing that I'm most excited to try is the Alti Flash Cushion. It feels really, really nice so far. And the materials, like I said, you know, it seems very, very high quality, especially for only 110 bucks. And it's minimal and all that. So it seems like it's going to be a banger. And Anta has been given as bangers for a long time. You know, they have the Anta KT Splash 2, which is like 80, 90 bucks. 
and it gave us really, really good material. They gave us a KT5 low, which I feel like should have been like 150, 160 even. But you know, it was only like 120 bucks. And of course the GH1 was a solid performer as well. So I'm definitely very, very excited to try this shoe out. If you guys want to cop, again, I'll leave a link in the description box, but that's it. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.